Hey y'all, so the 2023 college football season is quickly approaching and this video is meant more for those of you who couldn't really keep up with the uh, off season as much as some of the rest of us have been able to. Uh, these are some changes and some big movements that have happened that I think us as Tennessee fans should all be aware of going into the season. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with the transfer portal. Now those that have left the transfer left Tennessee to the transfer portal uh, include Laneith Whitehead, running back going to Georgia, and Taven Jackson, quarterback going to Indiana. Um, those are the only big notable ones that are leaving Tennessee, but we have a vast, we have a lot coming into Tennessee that I think uh, could make a big impact coming in. Uh, so starting with who I think might make the biggest impact, or at least will make be the most flashy on the field, uh, would be Dante Thornton. Wide receiver coming from Oregon, coming in at 6'5", uh, roughly 230. Uh, reportedly ran 24 miles an hour in practice. We anticipate he may be uh, the next Jalen Hyatt. We'll have to see if he can live up to that kind of hype. Uh, we got Gabe Judy Lolly, a linebacker from BYU. Keenan Peely, a cornerback from BYU. Uh, offensive tackle, John Campbell from Miami. Andre Carrick from Texas. Uh, Omar Norman Lott, there's a lot of hype surrounding this guy coming from Arizona State at defensive line. Uh, we got edge rusher Luke Schaus from Ole Miss and tight end McAllen Castles from UC Davis. Uh, he was a three or four star recruit depending on where you look. So uh, just because he came from UD UC Davis doesn't mean he won't make an impact on this football team. Uh, now going to the transfer portal outside of Tennessee, um, we got NC State quarterback Devin Leary going to Kentucky. Uh, I think this is going to be a huge upgrade for them at quarterback uh, over Will Levis. Uh, he had some great numbers in 2021. Unfortunately, he was injured in 2022, so didn't get to do a whole lot there. Uh, anticipate seeing much better quarterback play out of Kentucky this year. Uh, we got Tyler Buckner, Notre Dame quarterback, going to Alabama. Uh, he didn't do anything to impress anybody at Notre Dame, and I don't think he's going to here at Alabama. Uh, Alabama looks to return to form, uh, as we've all known them, uh, the run it down your throat, beat you into submission type football that Alabama made a name for themselves with. We'll see. How, have to see how that goes. Uh, I'm not totally convinced. Uh, and we got Wisconsin quarterback Graham Mertz going to Florida. Uh, this guy was not good at Wisconsin. I don't think he's going to be any good at Florida. Uh, Florida went five and seven last year, and that was with the number four overall pick at quarterback. Uh, we've lost, they've lost him, and they're going to go to Graham Mertz, who can't seem to keep the ball out of the defense's hands. Just not convinced. I, I think this could be really bad for Florida. Um, are going to recruiting uh, for 2024. It's 2023 is obviously behind us now. Uh, 2024, as of the time, as of right, as of recording this video, uh, on three has us at number nine with one five-star, that being wide receiver Mike Matthews. Uh, he is the highest-rated wide receiver Tennessee has ever gotten. Uh, so look for him to be uh, make a big impact here in 2024. 24/7 has us listed at number 11. Uh, same story there. In 2024, we have. Uh, an SEC schedule that's kind of taking the place. It's just kind of a placeholder season. 2025, the season may look very different. At least the SEC schedule might. Uh, but for 2024, the teams we got at home are Alabama, Florida, Kentucky, and Mississippi State. And our away games are going to include Arkansas, Georgia, Oklahoma, and Vanderbilt. Uh, that's just for 2024. In 2025, we may even be going to a nine-game SEC schedule. Uh, we'll have to see how all that plays out. Uh, so, rule changes for all of college football. Uh, the clock will not stop after first downs anymore. Uh, this is only during... This does not affect the last two minutes of each quarter. Or, this does not affect the last two minutes of each half. So, within the last two minutes of the first half and the last two minutes of the second half, the clock will stop after first downs, the same way it has been. Um, there will be no more consecutive timeouts called. So for teams that want to call two, three timeouts to try to ice a kicker all in a row in succession, that's no longer allowed. 
Uh, the point of these rule changes is the NCAA is trying to um, cut down on the amount of time it takes to get through a football game. Uh, we'll see if it has that desired effect on it. Uh, moving on to the NCAA investigation of the University of Tennessee regarding the uh, recruiting violations by head coach Jeremy Pruitt when he was still here. Uh, this investigation is finally all wrapped up. There is no postseason bowl ban. Uh, so that's great for us as fans. Uh, the only punishments that Tennessee will face as a program or as a school is an $8 million fine. They uh, figure that's roughly how much the school would make from two bowl, bowl appearances. Uh, we have to vacate the 11 wins from 2019 2020, so the years that Jeremy Pruitt was there. Uh, 28 scholarship reduction. Um, now, we have been in self imposing scholarship reductions on our own. Uh, so up to this point, we have already imposed, looks like 16, and those do count towards that total of 28, so we only have 12 more to reduce over the next three years. So instead of 85, scholarship avail 85 scholarships available to the school, we'll only have, uh, what is that, 81 for each season over the next three years. Uh, it's not a big deal. Usually the school does not operate with full 85 scholarships anyway. Um, and last but not least, Jeremy Pruitt getting a six-year show cause from the NCAA. Uh, I believe he's currently coaching high school ball. Um, he's not coming back to college football anytime soon. Even if he did get hired within the next six years, he has a one-season ban. Uh, I don't think any school is going to want to hire somebody that they can't use for an entire season. Uh, the other hook. So moving on to the coaching changes or just other things around. Tennessee football. Uh, Joey Hasley has been named the uh, offensive coordinator. He was the quarterback's coach for Tennessee, so we still have some good continuity going on there. Uh, but Alex Golish is off to be the head coach of, I believe, UCF. Moving on to bigger and better things. So, I, I, But I do believe Joey Hasley can do a good job. Let's we'll see how it goes. Uh, we've got Robert Ayers. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, he played defensive line for us back in uh, 03, 04, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, he's joined the staff to help the defensive line improve their pass rush. They all seem to really uh, enjoy the things he's doing down there. We'll have to see if uh, he has had the desired effect on our defensive line. The last but not least, Joe Milton's comments regarding the Orange Bowl. So in an interview with Locked On SEC, he was asked about what did it mean to be going back to Florida uh, for this Orange Bowl win. Uh, he made the comment something along the lines of, uh, it means a lot. I don't lose in Florida. Uh, for those of you unaware, we do play Florida in Gainesville this year. Uh, so everyone has taken that to mean, oh, well, Joe Milton's gonna say, saying that we will beat Florida in Florida. And while I believe that, I don't believe that's what he meant. He, he was asked about the Orange Bowl. I believe he was talking about the Orange Bowl. But with that, that's going to wrap up everything I have for you guys today. That's really the big things going into the season I feel like Tennessee fans should be aware of. Um, there's a whole lot of movement, a whole lot of talk going on in the offseason. Most of it kind of meant nothing. Uh, the points I've hit today, I believe, are the, the big ones that Tennessee fans should be aware of. So with that, I thank you for listening, and have a great rest of your day.